Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brew, and today we're taking a look at the Compact Cube Automatic Tamper. This is the same Compact that are well known for their espresso and filter grinders, and they've gone and added to their impressive lineup a stylish and straightforward auto tamper that's built like a tank and offers a reliable and adjustable tamp pressures for your puck, saving you time and definitely avoiding injury in your wrists whilst tamping. Now, you can shop the Compact Cube from this link up above, but stay with me now as we take a closer look at its capabilities for use within a cafe or the home setting. Dimensions wise, the Compact Cube, more of a rectangle than it is a cube, is 28 centimeters tall, 16 and a half centimeters wide, and 18 and a half centimeters deep. And it's robust build with full metal casing give it a surprising heft at six and a half kilograms. With rubber feet, it really won't be sliding off the bench anytime soon with repeated use. And there is a nice extended power cord on it to reach under any espresso bar. Turning it on from the back of the cube, it's at the front and facing the barista, you have that large ULED display and the controls. Simple and easy to use, you have a plus and minus button that will increase and decrease the amount of pressure applied when tamping, and it ranges from 10 kilograms all the way up to 30 kilograms of pressure. You're also able to lock this screen to avoid any accidental changes to this pressure by holding both the plus and minus button at the same time. Hit the clean button in the middle and that tamp head will drop down for easier access in removing any buildup of grinds on that tamp head accumulating. Though static and retention wasn't a huge issue on the cube, the tamp head will automatically retract after some time. So if you wanted more of an extended time cleaning that tamp head, you simply have to turn the cube off when the tamp head is in that down position. And the cube is also able to display pounds as well as kilograms by pressing and holding the clean button on the startup. Once you see that cube logo, you press minus for kilograms and plus for pounds. Moving down to the tamping area of the cube, you have height adjustable forks that can quickly be moved up or down with the adjustment wheel access from the front or the back of the tamper. And this will allow you to get a nice tight fit for your porta filter, which is also important to ensure a level tamp is achieved. And there is a second adjustment wheel that's not quite as obvious, where you can extend the magnetic sensor in or out that operates the tamp head at the back of the cube. And depending on the make and the shape of your porta filter, ideally you want that porta filter traveling all the way into the back. So the filter basket is then perfectly aligned with the tamp head, then hitting the sensor to begin operation of the tamp. And not beginning too soon, as this will affect the level of your tamp once more. So from here, once you have everything adjusted for your porta filter and selected your desired pressure, then tamping with the cube is as effortless as it should be. And with a little bit of distribution, the whole tamping cycle will take just under two seconds to complete, which isn't the fastest of automatic tampers around, but it does effectively ensure a more consistent action of tamping versus hand tamping, and especially when you're in a cafe with multiple baristas working across a shift. And that's the Compact Cube Automatic Tamper for you. Uncomplicated in its use, it provides a reliable measure to ensure your coffee is tamped the same each and every time. And it really doesn't take all that much away from a barista, but allows them more time to focus on other areas of technique to continue to brew great coffee. So if you have any questions on the Compact Cube, add them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and the subscribe button. And then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.